the bottling station. Uh, it starts from here, just the loading station where all the bottles are held. And we've got this vibrator underneath here, which vibrates this down and pushes all these bottles down. And these gears over here with the bike chain, it'll spin this, allowing the bottles to get onto the conveyor belt. Once it enters here, they cut off this uh, rails here, straight up, straight up the bottle. And uh, as it gets here, it's, it's, uh, this thing comes down, which is this part. Yeah, so uh, I took apart what they did last year. I have actually, this is what they were using last year to fill the bottles, and we replaced it with these. These are still done. There's only one, there's two more left. And if I press start, like it's a little PLC program, I get going up and down. So assuming I'm gonna see five, three of those little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Realize that. And uh, to let the beads out, we're gonna use a piece like this to slide in. If you look from the side, there's like a little gap, just enough. It's the exact same piece as this, so there won't be like any uh, wobbling or anything like that. It's gonna go in. It's gonna hold the beads when we want the beads to fall. When this is all the way down, it's gonna come out. And the beads are going to fall, and uh, then it's going to move on to the capping line, uh, which is not as fun. So basically, there's this capper mechanism here that this will be attached to an air, obviously. And then the cap gets placed on, but sometimes it'll go on at an angle. So I made this thing here that kind of slams it on into place. And it's going to go down to here, which uh, this is a, mo a motor attached to the to an actuator. So if this when this is going to be spinning, this just has to come down for a quick second, and then it's going to continue going down the line. So the whole idea of the cabin was that the, the line doesn't have to stop. The current label where it's at, and uh, really it's on its testing phase to make sure everything's working. And uh, I recently just finished this set section. Sorry. And. Uh, uh, I actually got it to start rotating now. It's actually going to rotate the other way. I just switched the polarity of the motor. Sorry. And um, yeah, what this is used for is uh, when the bottle comes here, it'll pick up the label, rotate, peel off. I'll show you that in a second. And we'll have uh, a little piece here that'll push this next to here. It'll rub, it'll rub uh, the label on. Do you have one with the label on it? No. Whatever. <laughs> It'll uh, put the label on. This will make it uh, make uh, sure it's nice and firm on the bottle, place on the bottle. Go off and go off to the taxi station. Let me go around here. Uh, what this does here, if you look closely over, uh, over here, uh, when the bottle comes, it actually peels off the label right here, giving it a uh, little piece for that to grab onto the bottle so the bottle will hit this like I said road this will be rotating this way we'll go against here we'll rub it on and it'll be labeled that's basically how this works I'm on my testing phases right now but it works so I just gonna put a roofing on it'll be finished and ready for programming I'm responsible for the packing station uh, the way it's gonna work is once three bottles are available the end of the conveyor with uh, feedback from a sensor, the cylinder here will extend and turn on a vacuum system, picking up the bottles, it'll retract and then it'll slide over and drop them into either a six pack or nine pack, um, and then return to its home position after. Got a little bit of a demo that we can show you. So, so something like that. Um, the piece I'm most proud of is the gripper. Uh, notice the compression as it's coming down. The way we've set up our safety system is um, all three e-stops are wired in series to each other. So we have a master control relay in that panel there. So the, whenever the system is activated, the relay is closed. And pushing any one of the three e-stops opens the relay. That relay is tied in with all of our OPA cards to our PLCs and the controller for the robo cylinder here. Basically, we'll cut off out all the outputs. Some of the voltages we have are 15 volts, 15 volts DC at 50 amps, and we have multiple 24 volt DC power supplies and very few 120 volt.
it's reflecting what you're doing. Uh, which I haven't seen in a lot of the other projects, but you all seem to be the one that's on top right now.